local morning and uh, yeah it is morning it's uh, just gone seven o'clock and I've got to get up because I'm on a seven day lockdown at the moment uh, Denise is not feeling too well she's still in bed and uh, Lauren was sent home from work the other day which is why we're both on seven day lockdown and Lauren's not feeling too great either um, which is my daughter so I thought I'd put a video together um, just to just to give people a little bit of something that they may be lacking. I'm feeling all right, and I know a lot of people in the world aren't feeling all right. Um, I'm sat out in the garden, the sun's come up, and I've got my brew, I've got my breakfast. What more can you ask for? We're still here, it's a nice day. As you know, I'm a landscape photographer, and I don't do a lot of staying at home, in fact, I don't do any staying at home. The only reason I'm at home is when I'm editing videos and putting stuff together. Now, I went out to produce a video 10 days ago, nine, 10 days ago. Uh, it was on the first morning of the actual lockdown when the government guidelines and the government was asking us to stay at home and uh, we were allowed out for exercise. So in hindsight, I knew it was gonna be a nice sunny morning, no nice fresh morning with a nice sunrise. So. I went out for a bike ride. I haven't been out on my push bike for a long time. Um, so I got my bike out of the garage. I got up at about five o'clock in the morning and I decided to just go for a ride around my local area. I've got a canal just up the road that way and it's down that way. I've got another a lake over the other side. There's a nice walk on a door, you know, around Dorfold Hall and you've got the park and walk. People don't really go around there. No one's up at that time in the morning. So I did, I got up at five o'clock in the morning on that first morning. I thought I'm gonna go and get me exercise first thing in the morning before anyone else is up and uh, yeah went off on the bike for a bit of a bike ride i also took my camera with me i threw on a lightweight uh, pack on my back with a camera and a couple of little lenses and i thought what would it hurt what would it who's it going to hurt what's it going to do i'm out riding my bike i'm getting exercise and i can also get a few pictures since then so please don't jump on me since then that's all stopped um it's frowned upon by many um and yeah it's not really a done thing and this is why i want to put this video out and this is why i'm going to edit that video in a minute um i haven't edited it i've left it i've left it i've not put it out for that particular reason because it was wrong i shouldn't have been out with my camera i could have took my bike out fine but i shouldn't have been out with a camera the camera's not an essential piece of kit your camera is not essential to your exercise it may be for your mental well-being but we're not being asked to go out for mental well-being are we we're asked we're letting this out basically just to do a bit of exercise because some people need a bit of exercise in all fairness, a lot of those people that need exercise can do it indoors as well. If you live in a house, run up and down the stairs a few times. I listened to BBC Radio 1, and on Radio 1 a few weeks ago, there was a guy that walked the height of Everest four days up and down steps. So that's exercise. If you really do need exercise, I've got an exercise bike just inside that door, and I've got a rowing machine just inside that door, and I do a little bit every day just to keep, make sure I'm keeping on top of myself. I'm not doing a lot of walking for obvious reasons, but I have been at work up until this weekend. Um, so I've been out, I've been at work and I've been walking around at work, which is good. I know a lot of people aren't at work at all. Um, at the moment, like I say, I'm on a seven day lockdown. At eight o'clock, I'm gonna be on the phone because the guy I work with has got to do a job that I've left on the table and he wants me to talk him through what we were doing. So yeah, um, I didn't think I was doing any harm, but like I say, since then I've not been out. It's, it's, it's just the wrong thing to do to take your camera out for a walk because it's just not essential. Um, the, the moral of this video and and what I was, what I want to, what I want to try and ask, and what I want to try and say, and and put across is, I'm I'm normally misunderstood by quite a lot of people, um, but I went out that morning for one intention, and the intention was to try and get a photograph of the new morning, to try and get a photograph of the sun coming up, to give a little bit of hope, and. I know I don't want to sound morbid and down, but I just wanted to give a little bit of something. You know, there's always a new day. There's always a fresh day. No matter what happens, there's always going to be another day. The sun's always going to come up. You may not see it because of the clouds, but the sun will always come up the next day. And it will go down at that night. So for all the worry and stress and the loss that a lot of people have had, and, you know, we're all tying ourselves up in knots, trying to wonder what to do, where to go, and how to get over the, you know, how to get through the day. Um maybe take this from this next bit of a video that I'm going to show you. I don't talk for the video, I just go out for a bike ride, it's just me riding my bike. I do take a couple of photographs, but in the photographs I got more than just a photograph of the sun coming up. I hope 
that you get the same message as what I saw when I saw the photograph. Um, you'll see it in the pictures that in a couple of pictures I've got some barbed wire and then the sun's coming up behind it and that really did hit home a message when I saw that image in front of me. It's nothing special, it's not going to win any awards, it's just a photograph. Um, it was just a bit of passing my time in the morning um, and, and like I say getting out some exercise. But you'll see the barbed wire and that sort of represents where we are. Um, it represents not being allowed out, uh, not going out, being restricted and tied down and penned in. And then the sun's coming up behind it, which to me gives that fresh morning. It's a new morning, it's a new day, life still goes on. And I also took some pictures of some like light shining on some new buds and some fresh foliage in the trees. And again, it's new life, you know, so for all of the misery and down that we are at the moment, we're all feeling, you know, under the weather and a lot of us that love the landscape and photography and stuff like that that can't get out in the mountains and the hills. The moral really for this, I think, and I just want to get across it is just bide your time. Hold on, stick to it, stay home, stay safe, and just look after everyone around. Um, so I didn't put that video out, but I'm putting it out now. And I hope that you take the message well and I hope that I've come across right because um, like I say I'm misunderstood a lot I'm not very good with the way I word things but the message is please just stay home look after yourselves I've got two two ladies in the house that are not feeling too great and uh, it's hard work being that rock so yeah if you are a rock stand on it if you're a helper a worker a key worker NHS and all that keep going <laughs> you're doing a good job because I'm going to be back at work next week, fingers crossed, as long as everything goes well. So yeah, enjoy this video. I'm going to shut up now and uh, cheers. Oh, just one other thing. Facebook. I've got my breakfast now. Facebook, there's a lot of, um, there's quite a lot of positives and negatives for things like Facebook. The positives are you get to meet other people, you get to share your work, and you get to make new friends. The negatives are, there's a lot of trollers out there, there's a lot of people out there to get you, there's a lot of people out there to bring you down. This last couple of weeks, or at least a week, I've had some major positive comments on Facebook about what we're doing and uh, where we're going. And uh, there's a lot of negatives on there as well. And I'm for one, I'll, I'll put the negatives out there. And I've, there's, there's, there's a couple of people out there that are quite happy to go out and, and do what they're doing. And they, they're using the excuse and the banner that they're having exercise. For those people that are using that banner of we're having exercise, I've just said, take yourself for a walk up and down your stairs a few times. Um, don't use the excuse that we're allowed to go out or we can go and do an hour's walking because we're not supposed to. The government message is to stay at home. Um, for all the positive people out there, thank you. I do need positivity. I do use Facebook for a, uh, an escape to get out, to to mentally release. And I get told off, I get shouted at, and I get picked on <laughs> by my friends. And it's good. It's good. And I want to thank those people that do always reply to my comments and do put me back in my place and do make me feel good. Also, the last few days, I've video called a few people and spoke to a few people. I spoke to a, a fellow vlogger and someone that's, I hope that I'm gonna end up becoming a friend with. Um, he's on Facebook, he's a good vlogger, he does some fantastic work, and I admire him quite a lot. Um, but I spoke to him on a video call in the week, and he's really down, he's really confused, and he's, he's just gonna stop his channel for now because he doesn't know what to do. So those are the people we need to keep an eye on. Keep an eye on the people that aren't right. They may just need a shoulder, they may just need a pep talk they may just need a smile or a laugh so uh, yeah if you know anyone like that just give them a shout and I'm waving my breakfast everywhere and it's rude to talk with your mouth full but that's me so yeah to watch out for the people that need watching out for be a rock for those people and I am just waffling aren't I but I'm on my own you know what happens when you leave me on my own so yeah I'm not gonna waffle on anymore the people that are going out, please don't. Please, please just think about what you're doing. And the people that do need help, those that can help, help them out.
and now I'm definitely going and I am finishing my brew.